Hey guys, I uh, have something here that's kind of exciting to me. I've been missing uh, the hunt for new stocks and I've been wanting to come up with a good way to do it. And I wanted to walk you through a screener I've set out here with Bar Chart. Um, and uh, what I've done is basically this, this is a save screener called Oversold that I made. And I'm just simply looking for stocks that are under uh, 30% uh, RSI, uh, meaning that they would be oversold. Uh, and then what I do is I then come here and I get my results. Uh, now this feature right here is totally a free feature. I sort it by sector in case there's ever a sector run. I'll know which ones to pull in. Now this is something that was really cool that I was able to do with my Premier account. I was able to save the screener as a watch list, which I named uh, Oversold. And then I use that to set up this screener rock bottom risers five and what this is doing is basically it's searching in this watch list for oversold the oversold watch list and looking for ones where basically price has risen above the five day moving average the idea here is that uh, some people say that that first uh, first <laughs> few percents are always the most expensive to get uh, what i'm hoping to do is identify a way that i can find uh find stocks that were oversold but are crawling out of that so that I don't um, don't buy the, buy a fault you know buy a land on a knife whatever the expression is um, and so anyway so uh, so I did this and surprisingly even my first day there's already one um, CVW um, sorry CVM um, which I did a little bit of research it turns out this is a uh, a drug company that made um, made some medicine for cancer and people were not satisfied with the results, um, although there was an improvement over the uh, the, the net cancer, uh, they weren't satisfied with the results and sentiment forced it down. So so this was interesting. And then, uh, and so you can see here that last price was 848, five day moving average 837, and it's green, which means my price is above it, but it's not above the 20 day moving average. Obviously to go from 848 to 1724 would be quite amazing. Uh, definitely that'd be a, a run I would love to uh, to be a part of. So let's let's take a look at the uh, chart. And so this is the uh, the daily chart for the last month. And you can see that, um, the, you know, they've basically shown this massive red candle um, that went from 2575 down to 9.23 and then it edged its way down further until it hit a bottom at 7.23 and now seems to be moving up. We have some green candles here and this black line right there is a new line that I've just added. Uh, that is my five day moving average and so um, so we have a buy signal on this and now I've set up another screener as well uh, that I'll use with this um, this watch list. Every day I'll add the oversold uh, stocks to my watch list, so any duplicates would would not be there, not appear, and then any uh, any new oversold would just add, and then I can run the screener on a nearly daily basis, and so uh, yeah, and so it looks like um, CVM may have found its bottom, pulled a a one day reversal, um, and is now climbing up, and it'll be exciting to see if it does move past that five days simple moving average and I might take a position. Thanks.